Hey Art New Vogers, Leilani Joy here, and welcome to my first ever Inktober. If you guys don't know about Inktober, it is basically an artist movement in which we challenge ourselves to do 31 ink drawings in 31 days. Kind of crazy, right? I've never attempted it before, and I thought it would be a fun little mini series to do on Art New Vogue, so I am going to attempt it. So we will see how it goes. So first up today, I've got my inking supplies and also some watercolor paints because for my very first Inktober, I am going to be doing uh, a piece inspired by one of my favorite inkers of all time, Sergio Topi. And you guys have probably heard me mention him before. I love his artwork to death. And so today I'm going to be kind of drawing some inspiration from him for my first um, ink drawing. So something else exciting before I get started here is after the drawings are done, I'm going to be offering each of them in my Etsy store for a very affordable price. So after um, the episode, you can find them over there. So what I really love about Topi's work is how he uses these cool abstract shapes, which he um, paints and draws inside. And I'm just, uh, I really love that. It's so inspiring. And I feel like it's a really cool exercise to do. Um, so I'm going into this piece without much of a plan, to be honest, because I just kind of want to have fun with this. So what I'm going to do on my paper here is just draw like an abstract shape. I'm going to put some colors down and then I'm going to see what comes out of that. So let's go for it. So now that I have my shape drawn, I'm going to be using something called colorless masking fluid to um, go around the outside edge of my shape so that when I paint my watercolor, it won't bleed over the um, nice clean edges that I've created. So I have my shape blocked in with the um, colorless masking fluid and that will protect um, the edges here. So now I'm going to um, uh, start the fun part here where I'm going to try to sort of envision which way I want this to go. I'm trying to kind of picture, uh, I'm trying to let some something form inside here. Um, I, I have flipped it around a few different ways and I kind of, I think I kind of like it this way. I don't know. I sort of see like what I'm seeing is like, Maybe a big earring. You guys know how I love to draw those big old round earrings. Um, and then, I don't know, this looks like it could be some sort of hat or a headdress or something. So I'm kind of seeing like a profile forming right inside here. So um, let's sketch that in and then we'll start um, putting watercolor in. background layer is dry now so now I'm going to use my little um, rubber pickup thing to remove the colorless masking fluid from around the portrait and then hopefully this will come off nice and clean and then we can start painting in that area Okay, now to start the actual inking process, I've got a couple of um, different um, pens and different nibs. I also have some tiny brushes and micron pens. So I'm gonna be using all of those to ink this piece. So let's go for it. No turning back now. You cannot fix inking mistakes. So this should be both frightening and liberating. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> 